Have you ever been on a diet, felt like you're starving yourself, but you're not getting any results? Then this video is for you. In this video, I'm gonna talk about why low calorie diets are stupid and what you should be doing if you want to lose weight. I'm Dave Mack and I recently lost 34 pounds and I'm going to show you exactly how I did it. But before we get into it, please do me a huge favor, smash the like button under this video, subscribe and turn on all notifications. It really helps me to grow this channel. Thank you very much. So why is the low calorie diet stupid? Well, the first thing you have to understand is that low calorie is a lie. Why would food companies and health professionals lie to you? Because the truth is more difficult to sell. The truth involves education. And even if the truth didn't involve education, they wouldn't tell you anyway, because then you'd stop buying their processed foods, their cholesterol, blood sugar, and blood pressure drugs. So let's look at how stupid the low calorie diet is. If you're eating 2000 calories a day and you want to lose weight, just reduce the number of calories you're eating. Sounds easy, right? Trouble is, it's a gross oversimplification because a calorie is not a calorie. The low calorie diet and the just cut calories theories rely on a fallacy. And that fallacy is calories in, calories out. A calorie from ice cream is the same as a calorie from bread. And those are the same as a calorie from beef or a calorie from lettuce. A calorie is a calorie is a calorie. With a low calorie diet theory, you could live on Snickers bars, provided you eat slightly less Snickers bars today than you did yesterday. So if you regularly eat 3000 calories a day, replace your entire diet with Snickers bars and eat only 2500 calories a day and you're gonna lose weight. Instant weight loss. Well, no. The first problem with this idea is a calorie is not a calorie. Let's say you eat 200 calories of wild salmon. Those calories will be used by your body for nourishment and energy. There is very little your body can't use from a piece of wild salmon. There's very little waste. Contrast that with 200 calories of candy. The only thing those calories can be used for is energy. And if you don't need the energy right now, what's going to happen to those calories? Stored as fat. So this is the first reason that low calorie diets don't work. A calorie is not a calorie. And if those calories are sugar or sugar-like and spike your insulin, good luck losing weight. Things that make your insulin go up higher make you gain more weight even on the same number of calories. The second reason that low calorie diets are stupid and don't work is that they are unsustainable. And if you've ever tried a low calorie diet, you'll know that. How else do we know that a low calorie diet is unsustainable? How many people do you know that have stuck to any particular low calorie diet for any extended period of time? One year, two years, three years. That's right, none. Because it's impossible. It's impossible to starve yourself thin. Not to mention that a low calorie diet will cause issues with your metabolism. Because at some point your body's gonna work out that you're starving and your metabolism is going to slow down to conserve energy. You need a diet or nutrient dense foods that don't force you to starve yourself. Of course, if you just wanna lose weight quickly to fit into that dress for that special occasion and you don't mind if you put the weight back on quickly afterwards, then the low calorie diet might be exactly what you need. But if you want to lose weight and keep it off and you don't wanna starve yourself, then you want to eat nutrient dense foods and you don't want to count calories. Calorie counting and calorie restriction will just make you miserable. Screw the calories and just eat the nutrient dense food your body needs and keep you feeling full afterwards. No more starvation sounds good, right? So here are the foods that you need to eat. Beef, fish, lamb, chicken, cheese, eggs, bacon, butter. Here are the foods you should avoid. Processed food cereals, breads, pasta, rice, fruit, vegetables, any food with added sugar, any food labeled low fat, 
Alcohol. The foods from the do eat list will keep your insulin regulated. The foods from the do not eat list will spike your insulin and leave you feeling hungry. And look at me, 34 pounds lighter. 34 pounds down and feeling awesome. And you can do it too. Follow me for more videos about health and weight loss. Click the like button, subscribe and turn on all notifications. Thanks for watching guys. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video.